Bay by the do it now. Yeah. No, my Ian, colleague, no, he, sorry, my colleague has, okay. is doing that. Yeah. No, you got carried away by the Fine Gael <laughs> conference. And, I'm going to say it uh, no, 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 you can't. No, you're right, t- in due course. Cinder Neil O'Donnell. Cinder Neil O'Donnell. I'll let you in in a minute. Yeah. I think now you're confused. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I would second it, only I'm seconding Fenton's. Um, <laughs> so, Carlac, just to formally second the uh, amendment to the order of business is moved by Senator uh, Warfield Gurumwigat. Uh, leader, two events this week in the North have once again brought home for many of us the horror uh, of collusion between the British Crown forces and loyalists and the consequences uh, for their families who have been affected by it. Last Friday in Lockin Island, GAC, the families of the six people massacred in Lockin Island. The leader can't hear the. The, so I, I'll start the clock again. Go ahead. Couldn't hear. Sorry. Last Friday, uh, uh, I'll, I'll start again uh, later. Two events this week in the north have once again brought home the horror of collusion between the British Crown forces and loyalists, and the consequences for families affected by it. Last Friday in Lockin Island, GAC, the families of the six people massacred at Lockin Island watched a film uh, called No Stone Unturned, which tells the awful story of how that massacre happened and the role played uh, in it by Crown forces and loyalists. This week I spoke to Solicitor Niall Murphy, who represents the families, and his plain words to me were, Niall, every citizen in Ireland must see this film. This week in Belfast, a landmark judgment was made by Mr Justice Tracy, who directed that the PSNI complete an investigation into dozens of killings carried out by the notorious Glen Ian gang from County Armagh. In his judgment, he said he has made an order compelling the Chief Constable George Hamilton to complete this investigation. This, Shannon, I believe, must support Justice Tracy's order. The Glenian gang are believed to be responsible for killing 120 people. Those involved in the killings were members of the so-called security forces, the RUC and UDR, as well as the UVF. It is an incredible state of affairs that a judge has to compel the police to do their job, to investigate the murder of civilians. In many cases, murder with the assistance of police officers and other members of the Crown Forces. Why don't the police feel compelled themselves to uncover the truth for the families? Why do families have to go to court seeking the truth? The Lock and Island film and Justice Tracy's judgment not only highlight the extent of collusion, they also highlight the extent of the cover up uh, involved and that is going on into blocking the truth about killings through collusion. This cover up is directed by the British intelligence agencies and is supported in many instances by the British government. In the coming days ahead, we will all gather around TV screens with family and friends to cheer Ireland on in critical World Cup qualifying matches, exactly as they did that tragic night in the Heights Bar many years ago. The film No Stone Unturned is due for general release tomorrow, and I would urge Shana Dory to watch the film and to support the families of those killed at Loch Island and those killed by the Glenian gang in their reasonable demands for the truth to be told about what happened to their loved ones.